Hey gang, it's JC and this is The Daily Dose for Friday, February 3rd, 2012. A uh, combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Clayton. We have great television archives at the top of the page. We have our eye candy feature below, which we'll talk about in just a couple of seconds. And our rock and roll poll question from yesterday. Which of these things would make you be disappointed in or even leave a Super Bowl party? Number one answer. I'm really surprised by this. 64% of you said a crowd so noisy you couldn't hear the game. 64% run away. 19% said a crowd more into the commercials than the game. 10% said not enough big screen TVs. 8% said not enough food choices. And 0% said not enough drink choices. I guess the drink thing is just, it's just assumed. If you're going to a Super Bowl party, they're either telling you to bring your own or there's going to be drinks or pointless to even have a party. All right, uh, Super Bowl obviously is on Sunday, but how much do you really know about football? That's our poll question for the weekend. A, I know pretty much everything. B, I understand the basics. C, I know just enough not to embarrass myself at a Super Bowl party. Or D, I don't know squat, but I did go to a game once and had seats around the 75-yard line. Please answer in the corner. We'll have results for you on Monday. Something tells me Tom Brady isn't going to be able to live this down, but his uh, wife, Giselle Bunchen is asking all her friends and family to uh, pray for Tom Brady so they win the Super Bowl. Well, gosh, uh, Tommy, and good luck on Sunday, and don't forget to eat all the carrots in your lunchbox. Wow. All right, here are three fun Super Bowl facts all in one. A, uh, last year a stingy Green Bay Packer defense held Ben Roethlisberger to only four rapes. Uh, second, uh, Madonna was chosen to perform at the halftime show by winning a contest sponsored by AARP Magazine. And finally, that orange coating on buffalo wings, uh, that's the same stuff that Snooki uses as a bronzer. All right, of course, Madonna is the halftime uh, entertainment, as we said. What do most women want to hear? Express yourself. What do most men want to hear? An announcement that Madonna has been replaced by Rihanna. Now, when it comes to those pricey Super Bowl ads, here are the top advertisers. Coca-Cola has spent $66 million in the past decade. Walt Disney, $74 million. General Motors spent $82 million in the past 10 years. Anheuser-Busch spent over $239 million since 2001. And the number one Super Bowl advertiser, you guessed it, Dirt, dirt Cheap Liquor. <laughs> I was already laughing because I knew what was coming and I couldn't get through it. Uh, Commissioner Roger Goodell is on uh, with Bob Costas last night. He says if uh, the NFL puts a team in Los Angeles, the league will probably expand to 34 franchises. And he says right now he doesn't want to move any of the teams. It doesn't matter what Roger Goodell wants. It matters what Stan Kroenke wants to do. Uh, there's a rumor going around that Kim Kardashian has been nailing Mark Sanchez, New York Jets quarterback. He's got a girlfriend, by the way. Uh, okay, I'll come back to the Super Bowl later. Um, his BFF, George Clooney, was on Inside the Actors Studio last Monday. Now Brad Pitt is going to be on next Friday. It was a good show. That George Clooney show was quite good. Uh, let's talk American Idol. Last night, the St. Louis show was on. It was sort of a lame show, plus we got gypped. It was only an hour. And they uh, stuck in Madonna, and there were a bunch of people from Arkansas and stuff like that. It did do a 31 share of the audience, which is just astronomical. That's huge. Now, the Super Bowl is going to get like an 80 or an 85 share, but uh, 31 share ain't bad. I mean, that basically means that three out of every television sets that are on, on a typical average Thursday night, are watching American Idol. Uh, Madonna pulled a hamstring, by the way, going back to the Super Bowl here. Um, Missouri passed a law limiting what strippers can wear on stage. So a strip club called Bazookas in Kansas City. And when you go to a strip club, uh, it's called Bazookas. You know you're in a high-class place. <laughs> Anyhow, so the state of Missouri says we're limiting the amount of stuff that, uh, that, that, you can, uh, that strippers can wear on stage. So Bazookas in Kansas City comes up with the idea while the strippers are on stage with their nether regions covered, the club shows videos of them performing nude. Good old-fashioned Yankee ingenuity. All right, back to the Super Bowl. If you play it right, there's about an 80% chance of having sex during the game. A new study by the website babycenter.com found that 80% of women say they'd rather have sex with their husbands than watch every minute of the Super Bowl. So, you know, just uh, stop the DVR and go get one in and come back, y'all. 
Here are the seven things you need for a great Super Bowl party, according to the website MidwestSportsFans.com. Enough people. You know, uh, there's never been a great Super Bowl party where there's like, you know, four people sitting in the room. Uh, two, at least a 42-inch high-definition TV. Enough beer, lots of food, plenty of soft chairs, something else to do at halftime, because not everybody wants to watch Madonna. And most importantly, number seven, a plunger. This year's Super Bowl is going to be on NBC. Over 100 million people are expected to watch. To give you an idea of how large that is, take the number of people that watch NBC on any other night and then add 100 million. Newt Gingrich said he'd like Brad Pitt to play him in a movie about his life. Gingrich added that he's admired Brad Pitt ever since uh, Pitt left his wife for another woman. Um, my Super Bowl prediction. Okay, despite the odds, Tim Tebow scores the winning touchdown. And in other show business news, a confused Paula Abdul has applied for the position of drunk host on Wheel of Fortune. All right, birthdays over the weekend. Today, Fran Tarkenton, Hall of Fame quarterback with the Minnesota Vikings and host of That's Incredible. Let's not forget about that, 72. Tomorrow, Alice Cooper, 64, and he likes it. And on Sunday, Jennifer Jason Lee from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Also, Tim Meadows, the ladies' man, Saturday Night Live. And Roger Staubach, the legendary Dallas Cowboys quarterback. We have a new Saturday Night Live tomorrow night, hosted by Channing Tatum, Super Bowl 46 on Sunday at 5.30. I believe the, uh, the pregame show on the network on NBC started in, I think it was October. Uh, also, right after that, you're going to get the second season premiere of The Voice. Yeah. And then that's going to be followed by Jimmy Fallon's Super Bowl special with Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg and rapper Flo Rida. Bill Maher tonight, Susie Orman, and former New York State Rep Republican Congressman Rick Lazio. All uh, right, all right, all right. All right, so back in 2005, Tom Brady, uh, New England Patriots quarterback, hosted Saturday Night Live, and they did an absolutely hilarious uh, sketch where it was a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like one of these uh, training films about sexual harassment in the workplace. And it had Tina Fey and Amy Poehler and Fred Armisen and Tom Brady. It's so clever. It really, really is good stuff. We've put that on our eye candy feature. It's right below what you're looking at right now. All right. Enjoy the game on Sunday, and then we'll get ready for spring training and that sort of stuff. Uh, how much do you really know about football? We have that question. Please answer. We'll have results for you on Monday. Don't forget Trish Gazelle and I are on the air every day from noon till 3 on the Big 550 KTRS. That is from noon until 3 along with our carousel of co-hosts Eric Mink, Joe Marlotti, uh, Scott Sherman, our legal eagle, and on Fridays it is Smash. That's it for the Daily Dose for Friday, February 3rd, 2012, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Clayton. And in the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. <laughs>